Hello and welcome. Really quickly before the video starts, remember to follow me on my other accounts and like and subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell. Anyways, on with the video. Hey everyone, okay, so similar to what I did with the 2DS, I actually ordered a Wii U from eBay. Well, the last time the 2DS was from Macari. So today I'm gonna be unboxing it and then we're gonna be trying it out and seeing its features. Okay, so this is the Wii U. I ordered this for around $165 in total on eBay, and I've seen worse prices, so I think this was pretty reasonable. I never actually had a Wii U before, so it was surprisingly pretty comfortable to hold, as it does look pretty bulky and heavy at first, but in reality, it's pretty light. As I was saying, the gamepad itself is cool, but also pretty useless. It has a camera which was used in the now defunct Wii U chat service, and it also has a TV controller, which is admittedly pretty cool. I just can't use it because I have a monitor, not a TV. It also has a stylus, which I didn't have, so I used my old pink DS stylus that my sister used to have, and so yeah, that worked out pretty good. It also comes with speakers and more. These design choices confuse me as they are pretty useless, but I don't care that much. Anyways, with that being said, I think the Wii U gamepad is a pretty comfortable controller. What matters is how it's implemented in the actual games. Games like Splatoon are what I say are good gamepad inclusion, using it for an easy menu and stuff that would kinda take up the screen, but not really as we see in Splatoon 2. But other games like Mario 3D World really throw me off because the game is both playing on the TV and the gamepad. That's just a confusing decision as it can get pretty distracting. Apart from that, the console itself is really nothing to run home about. It's pretty simple, just a more rounded Wii. The games themselves are also pretty good. The virtual console selection is great, including so many rare games at cheaper prices. I've been enjoying my time with Metroid Prime Trilogy so far and the Wii U games themselves. Although some of them do have better Switch versions, there are still some exclusives. Anyways, as for the condition, it's alright. The cameras came pretty scratched, but it's nowhere near as bad as the scratches on the 2DS. It needed a bit of cleaning though, but that's a given. Anyways, that's basically it. There's not much else to say about the Wii U. The most valuable thing about it are the rare games included, but the eShop will close soon, so if you want these games, get them now. I'm pretty excited to also collect the exclusive Wii U games now. Xenoblade X will definitely be sought after by me. Anyways, the Wii U may have been a failure, but I give it one thumbs up for being pretty good. Also, the gamepad is way more comfortable than the Switch. Fight me. Okay, that's it for the video. I've been having a rough um, last few weeks with asthma and now COVID. I am starting to recover now and hopefully I'll get negative by the end of the week. Anyways, I'm mostly happy that I can keep a good upload schedule and yeah, thanks for watching. I have no idea what my next video will be. It might be a retrospective quickly made, but I don't know. So just, just stay put. Anyways, thanks for watching, and bye.